This video is all about medical device and IVD classification in China. The process of medical device and IVD approval depends heavily on the risk class. In China, there are three risk classes, one, two, and three, similar to other countries. If your product falls into risk class one, then you need to undergo filing. Whereas if it falls into risk class two or three, you have to undergo registration with the NMPA, the National Medical Products Administration. Some of you might still know it under the abbreviation CFDA. The risk class is determined by the intended use, the structural characteristics, the form of operation, and also the potential risks to patients. Classifications in US or in Europe can serve as an indication of the risk class in China, however, only as that, because it can happen that in China, your product is classified in one risk class higher than abroad. So how do you find out the risk class of your product? The NNPA released a classification catalog in August 2018. This is the most recent version. And this is clearly illustrated with many product examples, which makes it quite straightforward to classify a medical device. Should you not be able to allocate your product into one of those 22 predefined product categories, then the rules for medical device classifications apply. And in some borderline cases, you can also choose to apply for an official classification with the NNPA. However, it will take them a couple months to process this. IBDs still use the old guidelines from 2013. However, the NNPA recently released a draft proposal in April 2020 for the reclassification of IBD reagents. And we will keep you updated on this. Should you have any questions about the classification of medical devices or IBDs or need our support for the classification, then feel free to contact us.